What we're going to be looking at here is a zero interest bearing note exchange for property here. And our example is going to be where we have interest expense based on the debtor's effective interest rate. And for example here on 1231 20X1, Corporation A acquires a computer system here from Corporation B by issuing an $800,000 zero interest bearing note payable in full here on 1231 20X5. So this note here is due in four years here. It's issued here at the end of the year here, 20X1, but it's going to be paid here to a Corporation B here in the end of the year, 20X5. Now, Corporation A's credit rating allows them to borrow at a 10% annual interest rate here, and this computer system has a salvage value here of $70,000, and it has a five-year depreciable life here on this computer system. Okay, so what we have to do here is we have to look at Corporate A, the debtor here, where they issue this note in exchange for this computer system and we have to determine what this computer system is actually worth here so the computer system the capitalized amount is going to be the present value of this note and this note here is we're going to discount this note back at the effective interest rate here their bor uh, corporation A's borrowing rate here at 10 percent so that's what their uh, general uh, can borrow at here at 10% and we have to discount this note back here four years. It's going to be due here in 20x5 here but we have to determine what it's worth here in 20x1 and that's going to be the value or the capitalized amount here of our, the computer system that we're, they're receiving in exchange for this note. So we start out here with this zero interest bearing note its face value is $800,000. That's what they're going to have to pay here in 20x5. So what we have to determine is what this note here is worth here in 20x1 here when they issued the note. So we take the present value here of this $800,000 note that's due in four years and we discount it back here at 10%. And you can use your financial calculator. In this case I used Excel here. And uh, just discounting it back here at a 10% interest rate here, discount it back four years here, the $800,000 principal amount here on this note here is worth $546,411 here in year 20x or when it was issued here in 20x1. And that happens to be what we're going to assign as a capitalized amount here on this computer system. Now we have to determine what in this case there's a discount on this notes payable and that's simply the difference between this zero in, uh, face amount here $800,000 a less its uh, present value here of uh, the $800,000 discounted back, its present value here at $546,411. So the difference here gives us a discount on this notes payable of $253,589. So what we have to do here, uh, Corp A here has to de-amortize this note, this notes payable. So what they, uh, setting up our amortization schedule here for, uh, the schedule here of the note discount amortization is essentially what we're looking at here. So we start out with the present value here of this note that's discounted. That's that $546,411 amount and we have to amortize it up to $800,000. That's what they're going to have to pay on this note here at the end of the fourth year here in 20x5 here. So we start out with the carrying value or the present value of the note here at $546,411 and then we're going to amortize it up here. So we do it in this fashion here. Now with this a zero interest bearing note here there is no payment amount or annual payment there's zero interest payments on the because it's a zero interest bearing note they don't pay any interest payments so we have no interest payments here so what we do here in, in this case we're gonna the effective interest rate here is you're gonna be that interest rate based on their credit rating here of 10 percent so to determine our effective interest each year here all we do is take the effective interest here 10 percent times uh, the beginning balance here to 546,411 and we get an interest expense here for the first year here about $54,641. So that becomes our uh, increase in our principal balance here that we have to do to amortize that. Add that amount here to the beginning balance you come up with your new balance here $601,052. Take that times your effective interest rate you get your interest expense here for the next year and you continue on down here until you amortize this uh, uh, um, discount here up to the maturity value here of this notes payable of $800,000. So you can see our effective interest here 
was the amount that we discounted that note by here, $253,589. And that's what we amortized here. Our beginning balance here, 546 411 up to $800,000. All right. And then just remember here, when you're with these zero interest bearing notes, there is no cash payment. And the um, effective interest here that we calculated, and that was for this four years, each of these four years here, that's the annual interest expense here. And then the total amount here of the interest, that was the amount that the note was discounted, uh, to, uh, the amount of the discount here in that note. Okay, so we've taken care of our amortization here of this um, zero interest bearing note. So what we have to take off this here is that interest expense, and that's what we have to record here uh, each of these years. And we'll look, go up here and look at how we'd record that. Okay. Okay, before we get into recording this, we have to also look at the depreciation per year on this computer system. So again, that's just taking your capitalized amount here, less the salvage value, divided by the life of this, and using the straight line method here. So we got a five-year life on it. The capitalized amount, that was that $546,411. That was the $800,000 that was discounted back here for four years at that borrowing rate here of 10%. And then our salvage value, we're given that here at $70,000. Subtract that from the capitalized amount, divide it by five-year life here, and you're going to get a depreciation per year here of $95,282. That's, again, the straight line depreciation. So now let's uh, corporate, ex this is, we have to look at our entries here. So corporate exchanged a note here for this computer system. So what they've done here is we set up a notes payable here. Let's look at our entries here. On 1231X1, that's when the note was issued here, and that notes payable was for $800,000. Credit notes payable here, $800,000 on our balance sheet here. And then the balancing amounts would go to, remember we had that discount in our notes payable, again on our balance sheet, contra account in our notes payable, we would debit that here for $253,589. So then to record the computer system here as an asset on our balance sheet, the balance, that's the present value of that note discounted here, that $546,411. So we got our debits here, $546,411, plus our debit on our discount here of $253,589. That's the amortized discount, or discount that we have to amortize here. That balances with the credit amount here on that notes payable that's due here uh, five, uh, f four years later, $800,000. So the other thing we have to do is we have to take care of, well, we have to amortize this discount and we also have this depreciation, accumulated depreciation to take care of. So just looking at our depreciation first here, that's for the computer system. That's for this depreciating that 546411 less the salvage value here. So um, each, this is for years uh, X2 through X5, the end of each year. That was for $95,282. So we'd recognize debit or, or credit or increase our accumulated depreciation by that amount each year here. And then on our income statement, we'd recognize that as a depreciation expense here. Again, for the computer system, debit that here for $95,282 for, again, years two through years five here. Then the other thing we have to take care of is this discount on that notes payable that we had amortized. And that comes off our amortization schedule here. So we credit or reduce our discount on that notes payable by the, the amount of the amortiz off our amortization schedule. That was that 54641 on up here each year here. So credit or reduce our discount on our notes payable here on our balance sheet. And then over on our income statement, that's what we'd recognize as interest expense on that uh, notes payable payable here at 10%. That was the 10% effective interest rate that was amortized on um, uh, amortizing that discount. So here you got a credit of 54,641 and then your debit here would go to interest expense on your income statement here for 54,641. So there you would take you would do that here for years through th through years year 5 here and that comes off your amortization schedule. Okay, so when the note actually comes due, you would credit or debit out here your notes payable, uh, remove your notes payable off the books here of $800,000, and then you would reduce your cash here on your balance sheet by $800,000.
Now, the discount here would have also been amortized down here to zero here. Now, the accumulated depreciation, well, we didn't get it all the way down here. For, it was only for four years here, but there was actually five years here. I'm just showing four years here because for the note here that was due here on 20x5 or the end of the fifth year here. Okay, so that takes care of our note here that was a zero interest bearing note here that was uh, exchanged for in this case some property here or computer system and how we would record this how we'd amortize it here and record it so just remember you have to set up your you have to recognize your uh, in this case the asset that's being received on based on the discounting of these notes payable here eight hundred thousand dollars back here to when it was issued at the corporation's borrowing right here and that equaled the five hundred forty six thousand four hundred and eleven dollars and then the difference between the face amount here eight hundred thousand and the computer system the present value here that note discounted uh, gives you the discount amount here that you have to amortize on that note and then we just use that using the effective interest method here and just remember zero interest bearing notes don't carry any cash payments per year here but you have to recognize the interest expense based on amortizing that note here the discount on that note over in this case the four year period okay so that takes care of our uh, zero interest bearing note here exchange for property using the effective or the borrowing interest rate here for this company to amortize it.